Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we adore your name. Your name is worthy to praise you alone. Is worthy of your adoration. Father, we magnify you. We glorify you, God. Father, we honor thy name, we glorify thy name. Begin to glorify the Lord. Begin to glorify the Lord. Begin to glorify the Lord. The Yatani Makabanda La Brantaya. I glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, we are here again with prayer. We are here again to pray. When you come, share the broadcast. Share with somebody. Share with somebody. Share with somebody. Share with the friend and share with the brother right now. Make her do si vahaya. La bade le braga vadosa. Le pado mahadin de le greggi zada la badea. Regge vedose. We are praying. Today we are dealing with breaking demonic altars. Seven bullets. We are breaking demonic altars. Many people are struggling with demonic altars. Many people are struggling with satanic altars. Many people are struggling with demonic altars. And today we are 
dealing with satanic altars in your household, satanic altars in your family, satanic altars. We are dealing with them today. And as you come on the video, just bring somebody on board. Share the link to somebody. Share the video to somebody. Share the link to somebody. We are dealing with satanic altars. Those satanic altars that are limiting your progress. Now listen to me very carefully. Let me give you a little explanation of what an altar is. An altar is a satanic instrument that is used as a, a, a landmark by satanic activities or sp for spiritual activities. Let me use the word spiritual activities. So a satanic altar is for the satanic purpose and an altar is the token, that landmark used as a place to meet divinity. So an altar is a place where humanity meets divinity. So anywhere you encounter God, that specific place, there is an altar over there. You understand what I'm saying? So that altar is the spiritual face. So when you establish something there, then that is where we, in our physical eyes, we call it altar. Now listen to me very carefully. In every spiritual activity, a man, a human flesh, can never convey with the spirit or confer with the spirit or communicate with the spirit or any spiritual thing unless there is an altar. Without an altar, there is no communication between man and divinity. Therefore, there is a need for an altar. Do you understand what I am saying? That is why God could not come into the affairs of man unless there was a mediator. The Bible said the mediator between man and God, who was Jesus Christ, there was a need for an altar to be established on the face of the earth. Therefore, when that altar was established, when the blood touched the ground, immediately the veil in the temple tore into two. That means that there has been an opening, thereby the cherubims, the seraphims, the angels, the archangels can now come and function freely in numerous quantity. Are you getting me? So an altar represents that specific landmark, that specific thing that you can be able to go through to meet divinity. Do you have an understanding with me? Now going further, you will understand that altars work and function in unique manners. Altars work and function in strategic manners. Altars are very deep in their own angles. Do you get what I mean? Let me advance further for you. So altars are deep in its own angles. Authors have their own flow. You understand what I mean? Authors have their own angle of operation. You understand? So, understanding spiritual authors is a very important key. Without altars, spirits cannot function. That is why our forefathers were making different kinds of satanic altars and conjuring things. Because wherever there is an altar, there is a portal. So the altar brings in a portal. So if there is an altar here, then automatically the altar opens a portal. The altar opens what? A portal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you getting me? Just begin to comment fire. Let the fire be flowing. My God, Allah, brother, yeah, those. If you understand me, comment, I understand you. The altar opens what? Portals. So when there is an altar, there is a portal somewhere. So immediately there is an altar, there comes a portal. Do you get the picture? So anytime at all an altar is stable, Within that altar, there is a gateway to the spiritual realm. That is how come the spiritual being can be able to come and have interference or communication or affair with the human being. So, altars that are demonic are potholes or loopholes that the enemy uses into your life. And there are many, many altars that you do not know of. And today, we are about to enter into prayer and deal with altars. Some of you are dealing with altars in pictures. Some of you, your altars you are dealing with is somebody's bed, home use bed that you went to buy. You went to buy home use bed and brought it to your house. You didn't know the kind of covenant that were established on it. The demon dwells in that bed forever. Some of you are wearing home use uh, clothes. That clothes you are wearing have those things in it. Some of you, somebody um, wore something and gave it to you. Listen to me. I had one car. I was I, I woke up at midnight. When I looked into the car, I saw that there was a man in singlet sitting in the car. So I called the person that sold the car to me that did somebody die with the car? He said yes. And I said, look at this situation. If you did not know, how if you don't have eyes, how would you know that there has been an activity like that? Listen to me, because there has been a portal. Listen, some of you are carrying numerous altars in your houses numerous uncountable altars altars from many many angles 
altars from various grounds, altars from many, many places, and all these altars are in your house. Hallelujah, somebody. Altars. We are about to pray. Every satanic altars we are about to deal with it right now. Just share the video. Invite somebody. Share the video. Invite somebody. Invite somebody. Begin to share, 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 share. It is already in the groups. So now begin to share it. We've shared the link everywhere. We've all gathered people. They are coming on. So you to be coming on. This we are building this thing up. Don't delay. Don't be late. Mm. Don't be late. Rabba Gado. So they have made sure that the network will not create the problem it was creating. Then the views come. Then the goes and we are struggling. We are doing this thing quickly. Now let's go to our first prayer. First prayer, my God. Rabago Shadele Brados. First prayer, first prayer, first prayer. We are dealing with altars. Those portals that the enemy uses as a channel to reach us in our career. Those portals the enemy uses as a channel to reach us in our destiny. Those portals, they, listen, pick the link up. Put it on your status. Share the link. Share the video. Share it to somebody. We are beginning prayer. Malaga Vadosha. Tell the person that is sleeping, wake up. We are beginning prayer. We are starting to pray. Tell the person to wake up from their sleep. We are beginning prayer. It is fire moment right now. It is fire moment right now. Makadalagabadosha. Now listen to me. We are going further. We are going further. When you come, just Keep commenting to bring somebody on board to also be encouraged to be a part of it. Whilst you are engaging, the more somebody is also what engage because some people don't know what to write. So as I'm saying, some of you should be encouraging them. Then we are building it up. My God, let's go forward. Let's go forward. We are praying the first prayer. Said any altar of confusion, citing violence in my marriage, and my marriage, family, work, and workplace, scatter by fire. Listen to me. Spirits that incite violence, all tests that has been established. Some people are there, the house you want to rent, that is why your marriage broke. Some of you there, the place you live, that is why your marriage is broken. Some of you, the place you live, that is why there is so much confusion. When your husband arrives at home, there is confusion. Anytime at all you are seated by your husband, one word you will say will turn into world war. Listen to me, you, you will say one simple thing to your wife and she will escalate. But then when you were living at another place, she was never like that. Listen to me, somebody. Geographical location can change certain altar movement. Mm. An altar can be open in a house you have rented, a house you have bought. That is why you need to anoint certain premises. You need to anoint certain companies. Listen to me. You will go and rent a place for your company, and the day you start the business, confusion everywhere. Driver is having confusion with their boss. There is a, an accountant having a problem. There is another person confused. So confusion in the whole company. Everybody's arguing with each other. Fight here, fight there. So much confusion. Now listen to me, somebody. We are about to enter into prayer. Every altar, every altar of confusion that brings confusion to your household, to your workplace, into your family. There are some altars that dwell in the household. They have made sure that, now listen, there is a satanic altar that the white man brought to Africa. Let me give you the mystery. I saw that demon. I saw that thing. A lot of people said that the white man brought Christianity. No, no, no. He didn't bring Christianity. He brought something else. That thing he brought, I saw it. I met it face to face. That thing was an altar that divides Africa. Alone in Ghana, in Ghana alone, and it is in all the various African countries. Anytime there is a football match eh, in Africa, African Cup, by the time we have done with the African Cup, you will see African fans fighting in the broad. It happens elsewhere, but it is not constant as how we do it. We, it is our normal thing. You get what I mean? It is our actual thing, Magabaradosa. It is something we keep doing constantly. So anytime you see us somewhere, we'll begin to battle, fight against each other. Because they have created some kind of enmity between the African countries. They have created some kind of enmity between the tribes. So this one says, you are an Akan, I don't like you. You are an Asante, I don't like you. You are an Ewe, I don't like you. So the thing is always like there is a battle, a confusion, because the law is divide and conquer. Because when you unite Africa, there's going to be a problem. Therefore, they divide and conquer. And that is the principle the enemy uses for you. He knows when your family comes together, you will be able to do exploit. Haven't you seen that many, many great companies, it is one day, AJ brought brothers, uh, Japan brothers, these, these brothers, and they are mega companies, and they are doing great things in the world. Different, different, different family builder. You, you alone, your family. Your mother doesn't talk to his brother. You too, you don't talk to your brother. 
you don't talk to your other sister, you don't like your other uh, um, younger sister, you don't like your elder brother, you don't like your other sister here. So it is a constant confusion. Because of that, you can't come together and do one thing. Now listen to me, we are praying the first prayer. Now I think I have explained to you, I have explained to you, Maragi Vada Labria Dosiates, Legede Le Grazia, Badombe Gadia Taya. We are praying. Balege Vede Le Bradosi Varadi. We are praying, Marco Vada Lamada. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any altar of confusion. Any altar of confusion. Inciting violence. Inciting violence. In my marriage. In my marriage. In my workplace. In my workplace. In my family. In my family. Scatter by fire. 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 Now listen to me. In some families, you don't understand why your children do not respect them, you, the mom. Some of you, you can't even talk to your children. Some of the fathers, the mothers, they can't talk to their children. When they talk to their children, it is as though they are mad. It is as though it is as though they are out of their senses. Your child does not respect you for anything. So much confusion. Every single place, there's their confusion is everywhere. Your children confused. Your husband confused. Your wife confused. Your uncles confused. Your uh, your, 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 your aunties confused. Their whole family, everybody is against anybody. Everybody. It's an altar of confusion. Divide and conquer. The more divided you are at work, the more there is problem. So they have made the whole thing like the one that stands tall is the best. So you are fighting against each other. It is like African politicians. They are fighting against each other too much to understand that they want to uh, sabotage everything so that another person will not shine. Another person also sabotage everything so that another person will not shine. That is the African politicians. Divide and conquer. Our divided mentality. That is how the devil has kept Africa down the way it is because divide and conquer. United front is stronger. Even when the people, um, this thing, building the Tower of Babel, united together, even God marveled at their interesting capacity to be able to build a tower of such height within a short period of time. So God divided their languages because, listen to me somebody, when people are united together, they begin to do impossible things. Yes, some of the things could kill them, like the Tower of Babel. Yeah. But then they could do impossible things. Any confusion, 
Any altar of confusion, I declare upon your life. Any altar of confusion in your family, in your marriage, at your workplace, wherever it is, I declare. I declare. Scatter by fire. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Out of confusion. That has entered into your children. Because of that, your 15 year old, 16 year old, 20 year old, 25 year old, 30 year old children, your children you've given birth to, you and your family, so much confusion, you were never together. Your children that you build them up together in one house, they too they've grown up, they hate each other so much, they don't want to even see each other. Listen, you are coming out of that chase in Jesus' name. You are coming out of that chase in Jesus' name. You are coming out of that chase in Jesus' name. You are coming out of that chase in Jesus' name. My God. We are continuing to pray. Second prayer. Magavada Labrande. Zegrando Sivratis. Ah, Balabradia Gabaladia da Sabrando. Rebeke Vedele Bradia Talabrandos. We are praying the second prayer. The second prayer says, Any demonic altar where my pictures, clothes, slippers, and my personal belongings has been taken. Hmm. My God. For rituals against my destiny. Sorry for that typing people's error. Taken has been taken, not taken, it's taken. Has been taken for rituals against my destiny. Now listen to me. Some of you, why you are struggling is because somebody has established an altar with your belongings. They come to you. Some of the women, their menstrual part, your staff, some of the men, they take your uh, fluids for ritual purposes. They come to your house, they cut your clothes for ritual purposes. They come to your house, they take your belongings. Some of the time, some of the shirts that you have that is missing. Some of the shoes you have that is missing. Some of the dresses you have that is missing. It is somebody that came to take it. It is somebody that came to carry it away. The person took it away to enchant you. The person took it away to destroy you. The person took it away to conquer you. The person took it away to bring you down. Listen to me, somebody. Some of you, they have built that thing inside your life. They've taken something, they are enchanted. As I speak to you right now, some of you, your hair is in somebody's house. The reason why many of you, many of you, you end up being in a marriage relationship, a relationship with somebody, the moment you leave them, nobody wants to marry again. It's because the person has taken something. Some of you, after one relationship, you can't give birth. Some of you, as you are there right now, after certain movement in life, you try to win somebody. The moment you succeeded once from that day, that's it. You fell from the top and fell on the ground. Now you are a beggar. You became very rich, successful. And now what to eat? You don't have share the link with somebody and change your life. We are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Any demonic altar. Any demonic altar. Any demonic altar. Any demonic altar. Where are my picture. Where are my picture. Where are my clothes. Yeah. Where my clothes? Where are my slippers? Where my slippers? And my personal belongings? And my personal belongings has been taken. Has been taken for rituals against my destiny. For rituals against my destiny. Scatter by fire. 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 Sc
My God, Ratosadi Makataya. We are continuing to pray. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Ragavedele Brandos. Ekapadala Brandes. Somebody come and scatter by fire. Come and scatter by fire. We are praying. De la Gadoli Brandis. Makida Brandi. Yep, the prayer number three. Any satanic guardian of an altar fighting against my life and destiny scatter by fire now satanic guardian satanic guardian satanic guardian what it means that is that you see every altar has its own guardian someone that takes care of the altar someone that waters the altar like the fetish priestess like the prophet of the altar and those people are those that work on the altar they are the people that people carry your pictures to to work on the altar so they are the people people carry your stuff to to enchant you those people that stand in there as the spokesperson of that satanic altar are the people you are dealing with now some people are advocates for demonic activities they are the representation and the instrument of the enemy in your life say in the name of jesus in the name, in the name of, jesus, of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus any satanic guardian any satanic guardian of an altar of an altar fighting against my life fighting against my life and my destiny and my destiny and my fire scatter by fire Scatter by fire! 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 We are about to begin to pray right now. And they are plotting against your destruction. They are plotting against your destruction. Today I declare Jesus. you are releasing Jesus' name. Amen. You are releasing Jesus' name. Amen. You are releasing Jesus' name. Amen. Any altar, any altar 
any guardian of an altar that somebody is calling and saying, Baba, I need you to enchant this person for me. Uh, Malam, I need you to destroy this person for anywhere your name is taken. Whoever that Baba, that Malam is, that enchanter is, I declare fire. Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Amen! Amen. Listen to me. Wherever your name is mentioned for evil, the fire of God will respond. Now! The fire of God will respond. The fire of God will respond. The fire of God will respond. In the name of Jesus! Let's continue to pray. Balagavado, Shadeni Brantis, fourth prayer. Any altar of failure. Altar of failure. You know when some people rain certain curses on your household, it becomes an altar. There is a spirit that is summoned to follow a curse. So you see that spirit will go into your household and then begin to function in your household. As the governor of your household, the spirit begins to function. It will begin to rule in your house, begin to move through your house, begin to do things in your house. Now listen to me carefully. When that spirit enters your house, it will begin to control your house, begin to control every single thing in your house. That altar of failure that comes into your life. Some of the time, think about this thing. You will start doing something very powerful in your life. You will start building a company. You will start doing some sort of business. All of a sudden, the edge will disappear. Ah. When you wake up, you can't do it no more. Mm. When you try to do it, you can't do it no more. Mm. It's like you don't want to go to work anymore. Mm. It's like you don't want to read anymore. It is like you don't want to study anymore. Something like you don't want to pray anymore. You don't want to go to the school anymore. All you feel like is sit down and surf through the internet. You sit down and surf through the internet. Just be sitting down and then be surfing through. And be surfing through. And sometimes you don't even want to get up and do anything. You just be lying down. You are believing God for marriage, but then the enemy has convinced you. And you know, listen to me. Some of you, the reason why you are over, uh, um, that they call it, plus size, as now they call it. The reason why you are fat is simple. Is that the enemy tricked you into it. He's the one controlling you into it. All of a sudden, you don't feel like going anywhere. You just want to be in bed for weeks, for months. And before that time, you started something powerful. Some of you, when you are even you are believing God for marriage, when they ask you, a person even you don't even go anywhere. You are sitting hiding in your room, twenty four seven. How will somebody come and marry you when you are in your room twenty four seven? Some of you are like, no, I'm believing God, I want to be a great businessman. You don't even have business relations. How do you become a business? You see, the enemy can convince you strategically in such a way that he will encamp you in your own room as a prisoner. So whilst you are encamped there, you won't move anywhere, you won't go anywhere, you'll just be stuck where you are. So you see, sometimes, the, some of you, you start, there's something great that would have become successful, but at a point you just stand up and you can't do it anymore. Like, I won't go to work. Let me call in sick. Today I won't go again. Let me tell them I had a problem with my car. Oh, I don't. I, let me find an excuse. Then you start excuses. Then the altar failure. That's how it works. That you see that energy. There is this thing you will feel. It's like something is inside you that is making you feel some way, some way, some way. You don't know, but. It makes you feel like, let me just lie down and press my phone. Let me just lie down and watch something. Let me just sit down and watch TV. I am tired. And ask yourself, what have you done that you are tired? You realize that you've not done anything. You've not done anything. No. You sleep and you wake up and you are tired. You sleep more, you wake up, you are tired. You sit down, you are tired. You sit down again, press your phone, you are tired. You sleep here, you are tired. The moment you sit down, you are tired. Anything that is unnecessary, you realize that you gain energy. Energy. You will see yourself talking about necessary things and sweating. Energetic strength. When it is about the foolish things, you'll be. It's like you don't know where the strength will come from. When it is about anything progressive, you'll feel tired. You're reading a book or oh, no? Even to watch it on, like the way you watch TV, sit down, watch whatever that you want to study. You can't feel. You can't stay. You just sleep right now. Then you are dealing with a spirit of failure. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with the satanic altar of failure. It has been established against you. That is why slowly, slowly you are failing, you are falling backwards. Some of you women, at a point in your time, you were very beautiful. You were always, you know, training, taking your diet, your body was well organized, everything was so fine. You were very good. You, you were like that automatically. At one point in time, you will just start staying back, staying back. 
stay in Baba Tan, you are growing, you are growing. Then you start gaining extreme weight. You don't know what is happening to you. Then you begin to lose your form. All the people that said you were beautiful will be, before will stop saying you are beautiful because you began to lose your form. Then you began to lose your shape. Then you are going off. Then you are going off. Then are, this the deception of the enemy. You are dealing with the spirit of failure, the altar of failure. Somebody come and scatter by fire. My God, listen. You are when you are dealing with that spirit, it makes you lazy. It will give you fatigue. You will sit down. You will always be sleeping. But well, any opportunity you get, you will sleep. Uh-huh. Wherever you sit, you will sleep. Uh-huh. You won't have the urge to do anything that will save your life. Mm. Anything that is supposed to help you, you don't like it. Oh. When they uh, when they are talking to you about unnecessary things, you are so interested. Eee, eee, uh, you know, I know that woman. You will be, you will be shouting and you will be wondering, is it the same person? Uh-huh. Is it the same person? My God. Is it the same person? Is that the same person? That I was just telling something to do something good. Uh. How many of you have realized you sat home, you said you won't go to work today or go to school? Uh. The day you said you won't go to school, you see, the five minutes before you couldn't go to the school, you were feeling so uneasy not to go. There's something prevent that thing expresses your chest uh. to your bed. So when you get up, it's like something is uncomfortable around your chest area, and your spine. So you will just be, it, it is, it's a spiritual lockup. So you just be stretch yourself and. I don't think I can go. Then My you God. call in sick. My God. Then you call in sick five minutes later. The thing will just clear from you. You just feel energetic. You'll be like, ah, I should have just gone. Ah. When you sit down for the next 30 minutes, you'll begin to feel bored and yes. like, oh, I should have just gone, gone to this thing. By that time, you've already done that. My you've God. already destroyed the opportunity. Mm. That is what is making you struggle. Some of you, the day of your job interview, you overslept. You sat down. You didn't even want to go again because some friend will come and visit you with some joke for you to play game, watch something, or do some funny thing. And then the enemy will distract you. Listen, we are praying. Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the altar of confusion. Any altar of confusion. In my family. In my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In any altar of confusion. Any altar of confusion. Any altar of failure. Any altar of failure. In my family. In my family. In my family. In my family. The altar of failure. The altar of failure. Scatter by fire. 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 Let's 
come to the next point. Bracket penetration. Mm. Just begin to come on the fire. Back up and Any altar of limitation to aggression. Some of you, there is a limit that is waiting in your household. In your family, they have cut a wall of limitation. They said that as for this family, nobody will buy a house. Nobody will have their own family together. Some families are there. You can never marry and stay in the marriage. Never. You have to either be killed or the man will pack your things away. Some of the men, there is a family you come from, you can't marry one woman. You have to marry, cheat on her, marry the second one, marry another one. Just totally have a messed up family where there's so much confusion. You can never stay and focus on your your marriage. No, you would have to be doing certain other, some other things under. Some of you, where you come from, they don't have opportunity. So that is why anytime at all you see, you will meet great people, but they can never help you. Because you see, the great people that you will meet cannot help you because the altar does not permit them to help you. That is the limitation in the family. That is the retrogression in the family. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Any controversial altar. Any controversial altar. Of limitation. Of limitation. And retrogression. And retrogression. Scatter by fire! 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 Scat
most of them it is because of you are the reason if not for you they will never call anybody they call you so that they can plot your downfall they call you so that they can gossip about you they call you so that they can talk about you they will talk for hours on conference call about you how to destroy your house how to destroy your marriage how to destroy your destiny how to destroy you how to make you lose your job how you are not doing this and you are not doing that and this is destroying and how they want to turn things upside down against you but listen to me we are about to enter into prayer say in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Any satanic gang, any satanic gang, an association, an association responsible for any atrocities, responsible for any atrocities in my life, in my life, and my destiny, and my destiny. Scatter by fire, 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 scatter by fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. We are continuing with the next prayer. Lay da la brade. Eco tala brandes. Lege de lebrados. Any demonic market. This is where the prayer we are concluding with our last prayer. Any demonic market. Where your organs, organs and blessings are being sold or exchanged. Now listen, some people don't know what has been going on in the realm of the spirit. Listen to me. There are demonic markets that are there where people trade things. Some creepers you see today, eh? somebody sold their leg. Their leg is sold. You see, in every human being, mm, the human being is the blueprint of the actual design. Are you getting the form? So God created man in his own image and after his likeness. So it was a form. And the image of God is spirit. Therefore, the spirit is the form. And the cloth the spirit wears is the flesh. So the design of the spirit is the flesh. So it coats and covers the flesh. So the spirit inhabits the flesh as its garment. So you see, your shirt is designed like hands and neck. And your trousers are designed like um, 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 legs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that is how the flesh is designed on the spirit okay. and the soul. Mm. So when the enemy wants to destroy you, he takes your soul, mm. the hand, and cuts it. Pa! Mm. It means that you get accident and lose your hand. Mm. Are you getting it? You can go into certain movement and then you will get the accident and then you lose your legs. Ah. Your legs are gone. Somebody sold them long time. Yes. Some of the times, your womb sold. Because, and somebody is saying, How oh, do they sell my legs when I have my legs still available, but I can't walk? 
The reason why you can't walk is because you see, it is the soul that gives you the will to walk. My God. Do you understand? Without the activity, the word, the soul represents the brain. Without the activity of the brain, mm. the legs cannot move. My God. The brain needs to process, mm. to move. Do you understand? Yes. Brain says move, it moves. Stop, yes. it stops. The legs cannot work on their own. The brain needs to program it to work. Yes, sir. That's what tells it to work. Mm. Without it, it is not working. It mm. is like a car. You step on the ignition, there needs to be a communication through the, the MCU for it to move. Yes. Without that, it won't move. So that is the communication that goes on through your brain. That communication is supposed to let you move. If there is no movement, then there is a problem. So, because when you wake up, you are supposed to be able to lift your hands. Ah. So, when you wake up and your hand is stuck, it is on the market. Any time you wake up and see any resistance in your body, anything going on in your body, listen to me. Know that somebody is on the market. Go and look for your thing. Ah. Go and look for your thing. Bless you, Lord. I said, go and look for your thing. Because ah. I assessed the realms ah. and I saw in the place that. There are people that were in the market. Okay. I looked at the angel, asked the angel, where are we? They say, he said, this is the place where human parts are sold. Mm. They said, you see the people who can't give birth, people uh. who can't walk, people uh. who are blind and things. This is their organs. This is their eyes, their My ears. God. Some people's brains are there. You see, some mm. people are, they, they, become, they became mad. They couldn't talk again. My God. They've been walking on the street and the psychiatrist, you've done everything you can do. They they don't have brains. It's already gone. Bless it's gone a long time. Mm. It's gone. Oh, it's gone long time. It's gone. They've sold many things. Some of you, they've sold your blessings. Mm. When you are born as a child, anytime at all you see a baby, spiritually, if you can see, you will see that the baby has certain pearls with them. Okay. They're pearls. Yes, sir. Those pearls are hovering around the baby. When you meet the baby, some represent their glory, blessings, health, many, many other things. The enemy, the witches that can meet the baby on time and get there when they are young, they can steal one of those things. Mm. Yes. They can, they can steal anything from your child. They can even steal your child's voice. Are we? They grow, they can't talk. The baby that can cry more than anybody and everything, they grow, they can't even hear and talk. No sound, no nothing. They can't even shout. They are truth of God. They are trading things. And I'm giving you this mystery. There is a spiritual market that is selling everything possible. Mm. And as I speak to you right now, ask yourself, how many things of yours have been stolen there? Because they are spiritual scavengers. They are stealing. The, the thief cometh not to steal, uh, to kill and to destroy. God has told them, he's a thief. He's stealing from you. Ah. Some of you as you are there, the, the reason why your the stroke has grabbed your hand and you can't move and nothing. Somebody has taken the hand long time. My God. There's been an enchantment that has been manifested on you, and then the hand is taken. That is why you are struggling. Share the link right now. Share the link and share Magabha the videos. Magabha. Some of you are shocked that you are holding your phone like hey, eh? how many things have they stolen? Yes, they've stolen a lot from you. You stole a lot. Some of you, they've stolen so many things. It's gone. You don't have some. I have met people. I was praying for one woman. When I lay down on the womb, I said, you don't have a womb. She said, man of God, you My God. I said, you don't have a womb. You want to give birth for so many years. You don't have a womb. I bypassed. I said, God is giving you a womb. Mm -hmm. And when I said she didn't have a womb, she didn't understand it. Because mm -hmm. medically, she has a womb. But she has never menstruated before. Mm -hmm. For years. My God. Yes. Her womb was so long time long time. How many of you remember um, last year or so, we were on live, there was somebody who was also having the same problem. She was not menstruating. Instantly, she began to menstruate that same very day whilst we were on live. Now listen to me very carefully. These activities are very critical. Jesus. Yes. I've seen people who could not hear. They didn't have ears. I knew where the hair was. So when we touched the ears, immediately it became fine. Wow. I've met people who could not walk. Some of listen, they have they are eating certain things that belongs to you. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any demonic market. Any demonic, demonic market. Where my organs and blessings. Where my organs and blessings. Have been sold or exchanged. Have been sold or exchanged. Scattered by fire. 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 Scattered
In the mighty name of Jesus. If you are late on the video, you can go back and watch it all over again and pray with us. God bless you. God bless you. Beloved, that is it. Just be sharing all the time when you come. I need to listen. Put it on your still Put it everywhere. Bring somebody on board. Let's pray. Let's pray. Be a blessing unto somebody. Be that one person that will touch somebody's life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And today, the scripture I want you to take with you is Psalm 68, 1 and 2. It says, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Be scattered. Be scattered. Be scattered. Be scattered. Be scattered. scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Amen. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As a wax melt yes, before the fire, yes, so let the wicked perish Amen. at the presence of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Tomorrow we'll continue God with the Lord. Lord. Just go follow the page, follow the page, follow the page. I want you to follow the page. Like, follow, like, 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 the, like the video, love it, like it. Yes, begin to like the video, love the video, begin to thank God to Mara Gaba. Yeah, yeah, begin to like the video, like the video, like the video, love the video. Always remember, don't be a blessing alone. Don't be a blessing alone. Magara Gosha. Anytime you are coming live, bring somebody to a board. Call somebody. If every one of you people here on this live can call one person and call them that my sister, I am coming live. Take the link and also join me. Let's pray. You will be a blessing to somebody. If you can just call one person. Tomorrow I want us to have a challenge here. Everybody should call one person, one of your friends, your daughter, your child. Give them the link. To join the live when you click on the share button you will see copy link just copy the link and send it to the person they click the link it will lead them directly to the video and pray with them everybody should bring one person if everybody should bring one we will double then there are people who also brought you brought them the people you brought will also bring one person that will triple by the time you realize we are a whole fire warehouse where the 
bulleting prayers. I hitting wars and conquering territories and breaking every hold of people's enemies. That at the end of the day, people will be redeemed and they will say, I am redeemed because of you. Amen. God bless you. Always remember to share and like the group. And bless somebody. This time, we are just going to work strictly with time. We do it so that because it's being saved on YouTube. So, Papa, Papa, then he saved. We are done. So, anybody that goes, you know that you are praying within those hours. Exactly. So, love the video, like it. See you tomorrow, 11:30 GMT. I love you all. God bless you. May the Lord keep you. 11:30 GMT tomorrow, same time. Same time tomorrow, 11:30 GMT. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and transform you, and may He grant you favor. Even in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>